A food desert is a community where there is little or no access to healthy food, no grocery stores. People now have to get in a car and drive miles in order to be able to uh, access that kind of, of quality of food. A lot of the food that's consumed is high in calorie, low in nutrition, and that is something that we're trying to, uh, to come back here in this community. Today we're having kiwi. Yeah. Three to four times a week, the children have a healthy fruit or vegetable snack in the classroom. These things are delicious. We want them to experience fresh fruits, to understand the nutrition that comes into those choices. They get to touch them, they get to feel them. In my conversation with those kids, I know that they're also taking it home. They're talking to their parents, they're talking to their grandmothers and grandfathers. Lima City Schools have also focused on making sure that kids have the opportunity to learn about exercise. Because if they feel better about themselves and they're exercising, we're gonna have happier, healthier, children and that's going to make this whole community better and we have some pea seeds here so we could plant them in the dirt this grant will be a very good effort to help us to help our kids to stay healthy so they can live long in, in healthy lives very good they are very high in vitamin a and c we're hoping to address the issue of food deserts providing a mobile unit that can get the foods around to those neighborhoods that need them and do it in a regular and routine way so that people come to expect it and rely on it. We're working with our YMCA's, West Ohio Food Banks, we're working with hospitals. So many pieces are coming together to put this community forward. Uh, we've come together as a team to solve this issue. It's an issue that I think has long-term consequences, and I think the energy, the enthusiasm that's there tells me we're headed in the right direction.